China's Xi Jinping hailed progress in talks with U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken in Beijing. The final engagement of a rare trip aimed at ensuring disputes between the superpowers do not spiral into conflict. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken has wrapped up his two-day visit to China. He held talks with President Xi Jinping in China. The United States and China have pledged to stabilize their badly deteriorated ties during the critical visit to Beijing by U.S. Secretary of State. Here in Beijing, I had an important conversation with President Xi Jinping. And I had candid, substantive, and constructive discussions with my counterparts, Director Wang Yi and State Councillor Chen Gong. In every meeting, I stressed that direct engagement and sustained communication at senior levels is the best way to responsibly manage our differences and ensure that competition does not veer into conflict. And I heard the same from my Chinese counterparts. We both agree on the need to stabilize our relationship. Blinken, the first holder of his post to meet the Chinese leader since 2018, had earlier strode towards Xi with his hand outstretched at the Great Hall of the People, a venue China often uses for greeting heads of state. After the meeting, Blinken also said a healthy and robust economy benefits both China and the U.S. He said the U.S. was in favor of de-risking ties and not decoupling them, words which were mentioned by Joe Biden. China has pointed to Taiwan as a main area of disagreement. Beijing claims the self-governing democracy which buys weapons from Washington and has not ruled out using force to seize the island once again. And speaking about Taiwan, Blinken reiterated the long-standing One China policy. He repeated that the United States does not support the independence of Taiwan and stood by its stance of maintaining the status quo. Blinken also said the U.S. would prefer peaceful ways out of the conflict. On Taiwan, I reiterated the long-standing U.S. One China policy. Uh, that policy has not changed. It's guided by the Taiwan Relations Act, the three joint communiques, the six assurances. We do not support Taiwan independence. We remain opposed to any unilateral changes to the status quo by either side. We continue to expect the peaceful resolution of cross-strait differences. For more on this story, we were earlier joined by Peter Kuznick from Washington, D.C. He is the director of the Nuclear Studies Institute at American University. Listen into what he had to say on the matter. You have to remember that tensions between the United States and China have been growing pretty steadily since 2011 when Hillary Clinton announced the Asia pivot. It was 2018 that the U.S. officially said its main threat to national security was not the, the international terrorism, it was Russia and China. And then under the Trump administration, the United States began an active trade war against China. During this time, the U.S. has also been sending more arms and more trainers to Taiwan. It has also been beefing up its relations in the Pacific, Australia, uh, the Philippines, South Korea, Japan, and trying also with India. So the United States has been, if anything, from the Chinese perspective, the United States is trying to contain China and stop China's growth.